Hi guys, it's Hafi, I'm back again and this is going to be my Bell Box unboxing for March. Uh, this arrived uh, yesterday, I think it was, the day before yesterday. Um, the box is purple instead of blue. That's, that's a nice change. Um, I did take a little bit of a sneaky peek, which was probably a really bad idea. <laughs> because I'm not very happy with what is in this particular box. Um, I know I said I was considering um, not getting it anymore, but it's like I haven't been buying any makeup or anything. And so this is kind of like the, the one thing that I get, and I'm only getting it every two months. So, um, yeah, I'm sort of keeping it, but... They're making it hard, I tell you. They're making it hard. So yes, the box is uh, purple, which honestly is almost the best thing about this particular month's box. Um, I'm not trying to sound like a, a big, whingy, sooky, sad sack, but you know, when you pay your money for something, you kind of want... <sighs> you want stuff that you might actually want to use. Anyway, so that's what the packaging looks like. Um, it's usually stuck down, but I... So this is a card that comes with it, uh, Super Power Beauty, uh, so there are five items plus a uh, extra in here. So the first thing is uh, this hand cream from Tilly, which is apparently an Australian brand that was established in 1865, and honestly I've never heard of them. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is supposed to be vanilla bean. It's sealed, so um, you can smell the vanilla though. Uh, it's, so it's it's quite strong. This is not bad. I can always use hand creams. Um, I, the fact that I have about ten of them is irrelevant. Um, you know, this is fine. So that is. Um, I probably would have preferred. Um, the pink lychee or the coconut and lime, but whatever. Um, 125 ml is 11.95, and this is a 45 ml sample. Okay. Uh, the next thing in the box is uh, goat skincare. This is a soap bar made with goat's milk. Um, I don't generally use soap. Soap, I use liquid soap more than soap. It's very cute. Um, I'll give it that. You know, it's got goat stamped into it. Um, uh, yeah, so, you know, it seems nice enough. It's obviously natural. Um, it's having a look at the ingredients. It, it's got some stuff in it, um, which, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to have. Like, the colourings are not necessarily needed in soaps, quite honestly. Um, yeah. I will probably pass this on to my mum to put in, um, like, a giveaway Tom Bowlery type thing that she does for one of the groups that she's in. That soap, which, um, this is a full size, is $3.60. Um, so it's not really, um, like indie soap or artisan soap it's just uh because um, they're sold at terry white priceline which suggests more that they're like a big company not a little company so we got this little uh sample -y thing of nature's common sense natural pore pore body wash which would be fine except for the fact that it is literally a two and a half mil sample of body wash Two and a half mil sample. Like, really? Really? Is that even enough to wash yourself? Two and a half mil. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know how much that is because it doesn't tell me that. Uh, then we have this, which is basically completely useless to me. This is the NYX uh, Green Tea Blotting Paper. Um, there's a hundred sheets in here, which is great. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really complaining that it's not worthwhile value-wise. Um, this is something that would be 
um, great if I had oily skin, which uh, I don't I don't have a problem with oil, like I don't blot. Um, yeah, so um, but that is fifty sheets. It's six dollars ninety five. And this apparently has a hundred in it. That's weird. Okay, so they don't even sell it in this size. Is that what they're saying? That or they've got their information wrong on there. But so it's not like it's hugely expensive or anything. Not that I expect in a sample box like this for it to be hugely expensive. Then we have from Modelco, we have a black eyeliner. Well, I'm assuming it's a black eyeliner. Um, it looks like a black eyeliner. I'll just. I'm pretty sure it's just a. I don't even know if it's a liquid one. Hang on, what's it say? Ah, uh, no, it's a. It says it's a crayon. Um, highly pigmented inky black crayon comes in a easy to use retractable twist up. Well, that's fine. I can get on board with that. Um, with inbuilt sharpener. Supposed to be budge proof and smudge proof and water resistant. Um, and it is $14 apparently. So just an ordinary black. Oh, geez, Louise. That is firm. And can you see what it's doing? It's like hard. Man, that would hurt. Hopefully it'll uh, warm up a bit with use, but wow, that's like really hard. That is not silky soft. No matter what they say. Um, and it's a uh, twist up and apparently it's got an inbuilt sharpener, but I don't know how that works unless they're talking about the top of the thing because the end doesn't come off like most with an inbuilt sharpener. Unless I'm doing it wrong. No, it doesn't want to come off. But yeah, it is a twist up and it does retract back down, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it's basically just a black eyeliner. Well, maybe that does come out, it just doesn't want to. Yeah, it just clicked back in. But I cannot get it out, so... Ooh, there we go, I did get it out. So that's what they mean by the inbuilt sharpener. It's this thing that you stick on the end of it to give it a point. I generally don't even bother doing that with these type, but yeah, so apparently that's $14 worth. Um, I don't think you need to spend $14 to buy a simple black eyeliner. There are cheaper ones even in Australia. And lastly, but not leastly, oh well, maybe leastly, I don't really know. <laughs> this is the Models, Model Co, sorry, uh, Lux Cream Longwear Lipstick. The colour I have is Amelia. Um, so it either was in Sienna or Amelia were the two colour choices that they gave us. Um, creamy lip smoothing formula delivers a bootable, highly pigmented colour that lasts all day so you can confidently take on the world. This is apparently a $17 lipstick. This packaging is kind of cheap looking. Oh look, there's the colour. Hmm, I don't know what Sienna looked like, but uh, okay, so I just opened this. Can you see the end of the lipstick? It's already like whacked on something. Um, it's brown. Basically, it's brown-ish. Uh, terracotta, maybe, at a stretch. Um, it feels okay. It's not. It's not super pigmented. It's actually quite sheer. You would have to like build it up if you wanted real color payoff. Um, I reckon your skin. Uh, if you had dark lips, they'd come straight through that. But this packaging is. Terrible. 
Um, it's got like a little marks all over it just from me touching it with my hands. It's weird. But it does snap together, which is good. It's got a nice tight hold in it, so if you chucked it in your handbag, it probably wouldn't come undone, which is good. But I certainly don't think it's worth $17 for a lipstick. That just seems like an awful lot. Um, yeah, so as I said, I mean, a kind of a colour of lipstick that is probably not something I would generally gravitate towards because it's actually quite warm. I prefer cooler tones. A really basic and not very good black eyeliner. Mm. Blotting paper, which I can't even use because I don't blot and I don't need to blot. Barely one use of body wash soap, which I just, I don't use. And so really the only thing of any value in this for me is the hand cream um, and the box, which of course is purple, so I like it. So, yeah, I mean, if Bellabox was trying to keep me as a customer, they probably didn't do a very good job. Because, um, yeah, it's just kind of disappointing. I'd, I'd like to see them do better than they actually are. Especially as it's really one of the only easily obtainable um, subscription services in Australia. So, yeah. So, that was my Bellabox unboxing for March. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!